Hello everyone, welcome to Game Tech UK and this video which is a look at the brand new freshly released roadmap for Truck and Logistics Simulator. So let's get on with today's video. Let's take a look through this rather extensive roadmap. There's a lot going on here. Let's start with the December update. This is the 1.01. .01. It admittedly is pretty much fixes, bug fixes to start with. Getting the game, quality of life stuff, stuff that the community has brought up, uh, problems that maybe the developer has found themselves through playing or watching a live stream. So most of this is just tweaks and improvements, but there are some important ones there. From the community, we've got inverting the camera axis, that's important to a lot of people. Hiding the minimap in first person, fast travel for multiplayer, that's gonna really help the start session of a multiplayer especially when 24 of you are all trying to get to the same position we can use fast travel it's going to be nice for improved performance especially on consoles it says so hopefully the playstation 5 version will be as smooth as the xbox series x version there's like i say other quality of life stuff like adjusted mission income i think that's from our feedback here as a community the fact that money is too easy to come by it's not given enough of a sort of a scope within the game you should be able to like really really grind away to be able to afford certain vehicles so they've adjusted the mission income and like I say most of this 1.01 .01 is just fixes and improvements. Q1 next year, January to March, we'll see our first paid for DLC, Pack 1, Supercar and Enclosed Transport. This DLC will get you access to a brand new mission, a new take on car transport. Transport free luxury cars with a brand new enclosed car transporter. There's going to be new drivable cars that you can have two brand new luxury sports cars to escort convoys or race around the map. Then we get our first content update for PC, PlayStation and Xbox. It doesn't say when it's coming. It does call it a major update. The thing that we do know, we're getting a free vehicle, the MAN dump truck. That looks really cool. Speed limit and remaining distance is being displayed in the UI and navigation. We're also going to get a remodeling of existing vehicles and traffic AI improvements. And of course, much more. DLC Pack 2, Flatbed Trailer and Missions. This is another paid for DLC. There's no time on this one, although I hear it's not going to be far behind DLC Pack 1. The focus of this DLC is versatile flatbed deliveries, and it will be a trailer full of new missions to master. It will include generators, lumbers, plywoods, forklifts, and possibly caravans. There's going to be a new flatbed trailer. An example mission would be loading lumbers or plywood. And also there's going to be a new drop side flatbed trailer. The next DLC is called Timber Transport and Lumber Yards. And the focus of the DLC is logging. They're going to add lumber yards, wood industries to the map. Logging trailers will be loaded using loaders with a grapple attachment. This again is a paid for DLC. But if you're not going to buy the DLC, you will still get the area for free, but you won't get the extra missions. There's going to be a new heavy log trailer as well as a light log trailer. Then we come to the section labelled what our team is also working on and it says this list contains additional content that is in development. It's not yet clear which will be completed first and we will decide later on how we will pack the updates or DLCs. First on the list is bringing the Nintendo Switch update onto the same level as all the other platforms and enable cross-play for the Switch again. I feel this is important for the sort of the IP, the brand of the IP, truck and logistics. You don't want PC, PlayStation and Xbox to be a certain quality and then have the Switch sort of left behind. It's important they bring the Switch up to the same level as much as it can be given that it's very old hardware. Looks like they've got some really good ideas here though. Skip trucks, that would be fantastic to have and to load up within the game. Also, there's a DLC pack in planning. That's fuel tank and dry bulk trailers. Fuel tank trailer will be loaded into refinery environments, which will be added to the map. Again, if you're not gonna buy the DLC, you would still get the area of the map without owning the DLC. Unique feature with some fuel tank emissions. Fuel will be delivered to fuel stations. Dry bulk trailer will be loaded in the newly created depot, dry bulk missions will also include unloading. 
New environment models are in development. They will also add new fuel depots to the environment, which would have fuel tank emissions. Another possible DLC is glass transport, loading and safely transporting glass. Carefully load the glass onto the trailers with a forklift or mount it onto your panel vans, then safety transports it to your destination. It will include at least two trailers, one for the vans or smaller vehicles, and one for the trucks. And if you do damage your cargo, it will get totally destroyed. They're also working with Aerosoft to see if they can secure the licenses for new brands. If they can be obtained, DLC packs of the vehicles will be available. Last but not least is talk of a map expansion under a free update. They say they know that this is a heavily requested addition and for the foreseeable future it will be a free update when we finish it. However, for the time being we want to flesh out the game, new missions, vehicles, quality of life improvements. They believe that the map is at a good size for now, which is why the expansion will likely appear in late 2024. Now, as roadmaps go, that's pretty involved, pretty detailed. They're laying all their cards on the table. I think there's a lot to look forward to in the game. Yes, it's going to be paid DLC. I don't think the DLC packs will be very much. And they have mentioned that the main one that we all want, which is the extra map, will be free. So I think this is a real positive start for the life of this game. And they're nice people as well, and I like their ethos and their ideas behind the game. We had Mehmet, the main developer, in the stream chat, and he said that he doesn't want to charge for map updates if he can help it, because that's going to end up splitting the audience. At least with these DLC packs, if you don't want them, you don't have to buy them. You can still join in the game fully with your friends and enjoy the game as it's meant to be. But it's very nice to know what the developers are actually thinking in the games that we like to play. This is a lot of fun, this game, especially for me in multiplayer. I think it works fantastic in multiplayer. And the only gripes I've got with the game is the performance on the PlayStation 5. Hopefully that's going to get sorted. And the map size. At least it's been addressed and we've got some kind of plan for the future as to when it may be increased. But you know what I'm going to ask you now? Head down into the comments section and let me know. What do you think of this roadmap? Is it everything you wanted to hear? Is there stuff on here that you didn't even realise was going to happen? Like the glass? transportation for example I really like the idea of that and are you pleased that at least the map extension has been mentioned we've got some sort of time frame on it I would love to know in the comments section below but that is it everyone thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one